everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dad Games Badly. We're back here today with some more NBA 2K21. And I'm waving my hands around like a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. We are going ahead and jumping right into the draft. Uh, I believe we are picking 12th or 15th. Or we, we Yeah, we are picking pretty high up. I'm pretty upset now that I remember. Um, so while I'm upset, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let's do some, uh, some scouting. No, no bad people in the, no people we need to worry about. Holy crap, that's loud in my ear. All right, let's, uh, Adam Silver, who's going number one, my dude? Donnell Long, 671, 239 from Kansas State. Uh, perfect, that's what I like to see. Lots of rebounds. He's going to be perfect there. Uh, then we've got Celtics up at number two. They take Albert Palmer, the 610 small forward out of Connecticut. Number one in every draft, slam dunk. No doubt, slam dunk prospect of the night. Brooklyn Nets are now on the clock at number three. Who are they going to take? Fidel Perez, 7-1 center out of Argentina. Is he stash? Rebound rate of any collegiate player last season. Ability to grab anything in sight. Getting some good guys. Getting some good guys. Um, don't forget, we picked up a stud uh, center in the last draft. Uh, so it's definitely not something we are looking into. I think it's going to be BPA, best player available. Uh, let's go ahead and see how we do at pick 15. Ivan Rancic, 7-2. Again, defense is terrible. Potential is not bad. Uh, ranked ninth in the draft. His wingspan is 7-2. He's only 6'6", six, six, but he's got extra 8 inches of wingspan. That's, that's massive. Maybe that's why I was never good at basketball. I don't think my wingspan is that big. Uh, but apparently I give good hugs. So, really, who cares? Uh, Javier Perez, or <laughs> Javier Gonzalez. I don't even know where I saw Perez. Fantastic. Uh, inside scoring, mid-range scoring, uh, defense, A-plus potential for the 19-year-old from Spain. Uh, not too bad. I wouldn't hate that. Lauren Hendricks. Uh, I'm not liking as much here. I just want to take a nope. Yeah, Jane Boner. Andrew Wiggins, All Star. Lauren Hendricks. Let's go. Shane Battier, Tony Fleming. Eh. Uh, Rencati. Three point playmaking. Post defense is terrible. A minus for the 22 year old from Italy, but he's a year out. Uh, J.R. Dunleavy. Honestly, from what I'm seeing, I really like Javier here. Uh, I do want to take a quick look here at... Uh, just based on potential, Gonzalez is the only A-plus left. We have him scattered at 67%, but I think we're going to go with the young man. 6'8", 240, or 237 from Spain. Tremendous athleticism, 43-inch vertical. Highest among all attending small forwards. Perfect. Wizards are up next. They take Kenneth Hendricks, uh, who I don't believe we're really looking into. So let's go ahead and jump right into the second round and see what we do at pick 42. All right, let's take a look at overalls here. Let's go take the... No. I don't... I Basically, if they're a starter, I'm not really looking at you. Jeff Parker, what do we got? Questionable IQ and court awareness, one on defense, shot blocker, so-so athleticism. Okay, so fairly decent center. Uh, power forward, or who is it? Jeff Parker, right? Okay. And that's really it for that. Uh, Ivan Raja. Very solid mid-range. Honestly, I think we're going to go with Jeff. 
There's not really anything else here that we have based on Melvin Barry Carroll. Very good one-on-one -on -one defender. Able to check shifty ball handlers. Gets an herb okay. I mean, Melvin's not doesn't sound too terrible, but his defense makes it seem like it's better than that. He's also 21 and is a unknown. Uh, let's go back here. Uh, aggregates. Do we have anything on potential left? Meeks. I mean, I wouldn't say Metal World Peace is terrible, but I'm not. I don't think he, they're the right one. Um. Honestly, Jeff Parker might be the best option here. He's 22. I love his hair. We're going to go with him. He's probably going to give the same nonsense to players up here. Fastest three quarter court in three under 3.5. So that's pretty good. It's not the end of the first round, but whatever. Mark. Or not Mark. Adam Silver. All right. So let's take a look. Donnell Long. 79 at 21. They obviously needed that center. Um, they should have probably gone for Fidel Perez. Ooh, maybe not. Donnell Long, Dikembe Mutombo. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's obviously why you take that guy. I don't even... It doesn't matter. Look at Palmer. Kiki Van, Van de Guigui. Whatever the heck that is. Uh, often out of position. Pull down board. Should be, he should be grabbing. Slight frame. Not sure I'll put on muscle. Um, some pretty decent guys going there. Valentine's not bad. Red's not bad, considering the age. Uh, Wallace is pretty good. Same with Edwards. Uh, and the Killer Whales get Gonzalez. Heck yes. 75 at 19. Going to be an absolute stud for us, I think. Uh, young. And definitely mid-range inside scoring. Uh, a minus potential athleticism is pretty decent like he's not going to be great he'll take him a little bit uh, but we've got some people that we can move out for him um, and in round two rather did we get anybody decent Parker a 70 at 22 for a center uh, probably not going to be anything for us potential is there but not very well rounded uh, might not even sign him uh, at this point so rookie signing yeah probably gonna decline that Gonzalez I, is I think is fine uh, team and player options all right wait why can't I so Pavins declined our offer I just need some water. Heinz is fine. Diener is fine. Neil Wallace. Mm -hmm. Neil could probably go. Diener's going to stay. Heinz. Heinz is going to stay as well. I just don't think Neil Wallace is that important to the team. So Pavin, Gary Caldwell accepted. Oh, that's, that's not our league. All right, so now we have to find a way to get Pavin back. Uh, Seth Madison. Um... 79 at 25. Bellamy is a 78 at 23. I mean, Bellamy's got to stay. Lonnie Hudson. Lonnie's out. And Seth is kind of on his way out. Uh, but for that money, I don't see why we wouldn't qualify him at the very least. Moratorium, Harris Pavin, negotiate contract. Uh, is that 
doable. I don't, what's bird? What does that even mean? I don't understand any of this. Okay. Ah, uh, whatever. So we'll offer Paven that contract. So. Uh, Lonnie is out. Magnus. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sad right now. Oh, we're going to lose the Swede or the Romanian. Like, obviously... I mean, Paven, we need that defensive guy. It needs to be Paven, unfortunately. I mean, I can't make... Uh, I thought we were getting... We're not getting rid of Neil? Why are we keeping this guy? Pronounce rights. Announce rights. Yeah, Lonnie we were definitely getting rid of. He's got good post defense, perimeter defense, and post is crap, everything else. Like, he's not good. He's not worth keeping around for that money. Uh, Saunders. Uh, I mean, maybe a de decent six man. Uh, Seth. Obviously, we're going to keep Seth for now. I just, I don't even know. Like, you know, we put Anquist on there and he got rid of Saunders and Madison. I don't think I have enough money. Yeah, I don't think it's going to let me. I mean, Jordan's all right. Seth, we're going to keep, I think. I keep trying to make me renounce rights. So, Paven agrees. I mean, if Anquist wants to go down some money, we can make something work, but... Yeah, you're fine. Uh, yeah, renounce, renounce, renounce. Irvin Wright. Are we keeping Bellamy? Yeah, Gerard is fine. Hold on. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it happen. Bellamy. Saunders and Madison. IWF. All right. So all these guys on cap hold. That is fine. I'm assuming we got... Uh, what's this pickle? Paven is back. Hines, Brady... Oh, we only have like five players. Fantastic. Oh, keep going. Keep going.
Keep going. Keep going. Come on, everybody. Come on, everybody. If you can tell me what TV show that song is from, I will give you a hundred internet points in the comments. I'll give you 500 comments if you tell me the character's name. And a thousand comments if you tell me which episode that first comes in. Seth Madison, what? You son of a bitch. Of course we're going to match it. Come on, we have the money. Hey. Player progression. Uh, Pavis has gone down. Fantastic. Seth Madison is up to an 80 overall now. Hines, uh, a 79. Calvin Brady, our rookie of the year, uh, is an absolute stud. Rebounding has gone up. Athleticism has gone up. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. I like to see that. Um, Diener is ready to go. Uh, Bellamy is a 77. Gonzalez is a 75. So we have, what is that? Two, four, six, seven. Where are the rest of my players? Like, where's IWF and... I'm gonna be very upset if we lost these people. Ugh. Every time you take your eye off the prize, Last name. Right. Sign. Okay, IWF is back. Now I have to look at my list again. Every time. So Enquist is gone. I would like to see where he signed. Because um, I know we're not going to get him back, so. We had uh, high hopes for him, actually, and they didn't quite work out the way we wanted him to. Um, where is he? He signed a $12 million deal for one year. Dude. I could have paid you that. In Sacramento. I mean, they're going to be very happy with him, but I'm very sad. I'm very, very sad. So Sacramento's really going to have a great player there. Uh, he is a 79 overall, though. So he did uh, drop a little bit more than we had hoped. IWF is here. Bledsoe is gone. Lonnie Hudson is gone. Uh, was Saunders on the team? So, Paven, Madison, Brady, Dean, Hines, Bellamy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we got rid of Wallace, Rice. Well, did we get rid of Ricer? Willie Rice. Was he on our team last year? Nope. Definitely not on our team. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Saunders.
Jordan Saunders. Were we were you a guy we were keeping? Uh yep, definitely. Gonna sign him back. Okay, Saunders signs. Uh that leaves. That's it. That's who we got. Alright. So let's just double check our roster here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine. So we need five more players, which is fine and easy enough to do. I can't do it just yet. Uh, so player progression, we'll take a quick look at everybody else. Uh, Saunders went down. IWF is up to a 77 again. So uh, he's been pretty solid for us. Pretty good six man. Uh, we will be figuring out how we're going to be running this team uh, this season. So uh, Summer League, let's go ahead and take a quick look into that. Loading time. You don't have to stay here, but you have to load faster, please. Also, if you know that song, then you are as old as I am, most likely. <laughs> or older. Uh, and if you're older, I'm sorry. Uh, death comes for you, my friends. Uh, la 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 la. 22nd in the league. Uh, might as well simulate the round, see how we do against Charlotte. We've been eliminated. Fantastic. Let's just get it over with then. All right. All right, so All-Star City selection going to LA. Congratulations, LA. I'll generate those rookies, skip the hoop summit and go straight to the training camps. Uh, we're gonna do something maybe a little bit different. Send your player to big man offense camp. will gain two points of the following categories. Post who's close, perimeter shooting. I kind of um, big man defense, perimeter defense, combo guard. So we go big man defense and we put it on Brady. So it's going to help defense IQ. It's going to help block interior defense. It's going to help uh shot contest defensive consistency yeah i don't see why we wouldn't do that let's try something different this year um yeah cool i guess that helps calvin not sure how i feel after looking into that one um in regards to I guess how that would look uh it did bring him up to a 79 so we can't be hating on that obviously we're looking at post defense went up uh rebounding went up basketball iq was a d i believe so that went up um yeah actually you know what that wasn't terrible thank you dmac for the suggestion uh-huh um, actually while we have the roster here before we get the other people on the team just to fill it out Let's just make sure everybody is in the right spot. So Heiner, you are not a good point guard, so that's not great. Are you a good shooting? No. Obviously you are perfect there, but we already have that role filled. Uh, so you are gonna stay at center. Diener, uh, small forward, power forward. I mean, having you as a secondary small isn't terrible. Uh, Bellamy, shooting guard. Are you decent? You're not that great. IWF. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted at all. Uh, Gonzalez is best at a small forward. So point guard is kind of what we're going to be looking into next because we don't have a lot of options there. 
Uh huh. And Saunders, yeah. So that leaves us with uh, Bellamy on point. Uh, shooting guards, we have none. Fantastic. We have way too many smalls. So we'll have to see what we can do there. Uh, I don't hate that. And Brady. So I backed out by accident. But, uh. All right. So let's go Saunders. Let's go shooting guard. That's what I need more of. You're 73. We'll put you there for now. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, Bellamy on point. IWF on shooting. Can I put you on point? What do you look like there? 72. Um, and Diener. Actually, I don't hate that. And then what is your best? All right, let's confirm those changes to taking a look here. Two, one, two, three. I mean, it's more spread out. I don't hate it as much as I did, uh, so that's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and click here, and it's going to advance us to November 15th. Cool. Oh, we just signed players, I guess, so no need to worry. They might be better overall players, but honestly, not too much for me to be too concerned about, I don't feel. Let's take a look here. Uh, McDaniel, yeah, like, everybody here is absolute garbage. So. I mean, not absolute garbage, they're better than what we would have had, but uh, you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and take a look at coach game plan. Rebuild that rotation. Obviously, Paven getting the most. Um, I don't hate it. Uh, Brady, I'm gonna, I'm hoping to see in like an 81, 82 by the end of the season. Uh, Madison is 26. I don't see him growing much. I'd like to see Diener get up to an 80, 79, 80, possibly Bellamy as well. Uh, playing first line minutes. Hines, right Foreman. Yeah, I don't hate it. And then uh, everybody's got minutes, including Saunders. So, yeah, I don't hate it. Um, obviously, just a quick look. Uh, obviously, we want everything going through. Honestly, I don't see why I don't give it to Diener. He's got good playmaking. Basically nobody. Saunders. All right. So basically scoring first option, we're going to give it to Paven. Then second scoring option, we're going to give it to Diener. And then it's going to go to, um, what was his name? Madison. Yeah. System proficiency. Balance is not doing that good. Uh, is it just seven seconds again that we're going to run? Yeah, so we're going to run seven seconds. Uh, and then we will get into mentorships. Hines needs to be with Paven. We're going to unbox Worm and uh, Brick Wall. Uh, break starter. Diener is going to work with. I mean, it's probably going to be Levine if it, by the looks of things. Jeez. All right, cool. Uh, clutch shooter, fake, pass fake, and volume shooter. <laughs> Zach Levine. Like the actor? Or is, is there not like a basketball player named Zach Levine? Or maybe the baseball player. All right. Uh, Calvin Brady needs to be working with... Not necessarily Heinz. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
Did we pick up any centers in there? Donnie Tyler? Uh, well, we'll just get him on that one at the very least. Gonzalez needs to be working with IWF. Chase down. Pick and popper. Pick and roller. Harris needs to be working with Desi. Seth needs to be working with IWF. Everybody's working for IWF, isn't he? All right. Okay, Bellamy needs to work with Saunders. IWF needs to work with. Fantastic, nobody. Uh, where is he? Just do that. Saunders was working with Bellamy. Zach, Donnie, Bryant. Cool. That is all done. Let me take a swig of some water here. All right. Well, we're about to start the 2031 season here in December. Third rate. Um, this team, I have high hopes for them. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and start the regular season. Take a look here. December 3rd, first game of the season. We beat the Timberwolves by 5, 76ers. We lose that one by 13. Uh, lose to the Spurs. Beat the Lakers, though, by 9. Beat the Trailblazers. We are now 3 and 2. Uh, beat the Mavs, but lose to the Pelicans, our nemesis. Uh, <laughs> the Nuggets. We win. Bulls. We get hor gored by those horns. Lose to the Jazz. Beat the Nets. Lose to the Raps. Lose to the Raps again. And lose to the Pacers, beat the Suns. Oh my goodness, beat the Hornets and the Rockets to start January off, but lose to the Mavericks and the Spurs, lose to the Nuggets as well. Now 9 and 11 on the season. Uh, if we're not in a winning record, we might change some things here. Uh, let's see, lost to, to the Clippers, lost to the Knicks, lost to the Nuggets, uh, win against the Grizz. Can we beat the Rockets? We cannot. Can we beat the Clippers here in a rematch game? We do not. We lose by three. Closer game, though. Lose to the Nets again. Uh, we get stung by the Hornets. Jeez. Lose to the Jazz. Can we beat the Hawks? We cannot. Uh, Golden State on the 31st. And we lose that one, too. So going to take a look here at what we can do. Obviously, coach game plan uh, is not working. Uh, looks like Bellamy. Oh. Paven is out. Uh, let's see. How long are you out for? Good, sir. Six to eight weeks. Right knee tendonitis. Fantastic. Fan. Tickety tastic. So. Hines is doing crap. Madison is doing crap. Well, I wouldn't say that. Brady is probably having a killer whale, a killer whale, a killer season. Uh, rebound wise, yes, everything else not so much. IWF is, is back on point. Uh, Gonzalez not doing too bad. Saunders could use more playing time. Uh, Hines needs to be better. Madison is having a great season in regards to points. Uh, Diener having a good season this year in regards to points. Bellamy needs to be better as well. And of course, Paven, uh, basically on point for what he does, just injured. So uh, definitely something we're going to need to look into. We're going to look here at uh, making Dean. Oh, come on. So Deaner. Uh, I'm going to put Madison there. And actually, I'm going to put IWF in here. Uh offensive get shooters open offensive tempo okay 
Nick, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you your, your thing back. It doesn't really matter anymore. And let's hope for the best. Here gets the Celtics on the second. Uh, they lose that game. Can we beat the Lakers? We cannot. Kings cannot. Beat Golden State. A week later, beat the Heat. Not my meat. Uh, <laughs> lose to the Lakers. Can we beat the Clippers at least? Day after Valentine's Day, we do. Can we kill the Magic? We cannot. Uh, probably get stabbed by the Cavs. Bastards. Lose to... Ooh, no, we beat the Wiz. We're now 14 and 28. Obviously not doing anything this season, unfortunately. I don't know what the hell is happening with this team. I was hoping some of these young guys would pick it up and be good, but it doesn't look like it as we have won, what, two games? Finally won a game, and then lost two more, lost a third and a fourth. Can we beat the Suns? Yes, finally. A team we can beat. Can we beat the Timberwolves? We cannot. Can we beat the 76ers? Probably not going to happen. My goodness. Can we beat the Grizz? All-Star Captains. Hooray! Yes, of course I want to view them. So we are looking at uh, Jamal Bryant, Sebastian Fleming, all making their first All-Star games. Mitchell Jefferson in on Team Luka as well. Uh, everybody else has been there before. Unfortunately, nobody for us. Take a look at our injury report and see where IWF is out with a broken nose. Means Paven is back, uh, which is exactly what we want to see. Game plan. Uh, we're going to go back in here. I don't know what that symbol means, but I'm assuming he's like not fully healed. Uh, Madison is back to an 80. Brady is a 79, having a decent season. Uh, pretty, pretty good for himself. Uh, free throws are on point. Field goals. He starts hitting some three-pointers, but I don't think he's got that in him. Uh, Pavin's ability has gone down the last little bit, but obviously um, they're working that out. And, uh, yeah, not really too excited with what's going on here. Um, scoring first, Diener, Madison, and I'll put Paven on third. And we'll go back, and we will sim some more. See if we can turn it around. We lose to the Grizz, lose to the Trailblazers. Can we beat the Rockets here on the 25th? Please, please, please. Trade deadline. No. Nope. Can we beat the Heat? We cannot. We get burned. All-Star game coming up. Not really important to us. Uh, looks like... I don't know what any of that means. Um, let's go... Oh, we beat the Trailblazers finally for a win in April. Uh, beat Golden State, lose to the Bulls, beat Golden State again. Now 21 and 43 on the season. Oh my goodness. Beat the Nuggets, lose to the Spurs, get not knighted by the Kings. The Sun. Do do do. Lose to the Cavs. Beat lose to the Timberwolves. I was really hoping we we're gonna beat them. Can we beat the Trailblazers? Uh, we cannot. It's kind of been back and back between them. We beat the Bucks though. Lose to OKC. Uh, the Rocket. We beat them by 10. No, no one gets over 100 points in that one. Very defensive game. Uh, Pelicans, can we beat our rivals? We do. That's two on the season, I believe. So one and one. Uh, beat the Mavs. Lose to the Magic. And the New York Knicks. And the Indiana Pacers. All right. Hawks, we win. Grizz, we lose. OKC here in May, we win. Beat the Celtics on the 29th. We do not. 
and the season is over. Looks like Garrett Vincent in Philadelphia is your all, your MVP. Uh, almost 21 points per game, under 6 rebounds, under 11 assists, just over a steal and a block per game. Uh, free throw numbers pretty dang decent. Uh, as for us, I would say maybe in the 30s. Yeah, Diener. Um, so we didn't really have it this season. Dunnell Long in for the Clippers, uh, winning a Rookie of the Year. Junior Blake winning the sixth man in Dallas. Onyeka winning yet another Defensive Player of the Year award. Mitchell Jefferson winning Most Improved. Tyrone Louie winning the Coach of the Year. Uh, for the first time, it wasn't that other dude. Uh, Garrett Vincent. LaMelo Ball, Gary Caldwell, Zion, and Alex Marks on the first All-NBA team. Uh, Donnell, Rick Pearson, Mitchell Jefferson, Peter, Yukik, and Lutka on the second. Uh, Trey Young, Ja Morant, Daryl Lambert, Richie Sharp, and James Wiseman for the third All-NBA team. Defensive first team, James Cameron, obviously. Val Milton Costa for the Spurs, Onyeka. Uh, Giannis and Miles Turner. And we don't see any Ben Miles, Fitzgerald, Castle, Stacey Jackson, Alice Marks. Uh, rookie team, Donnell Long, Errol, Ellis Carroll, Fidel Perez, Richie Tyler, and Boyd Wallace. And wow, we don't have anybody this year. Great. All right, well, that was fantastic. Uh, not in the playoffs, obviously. First round, let's simulate. Do do do. Who's gonna be the first out? Looks like Sacramento or San Antonio, Washington, L.A., Orlando, Detroit, New York, Utah, and Dallas. Let's go ahead and simulate the next round. Looks like Detroit might be the first team out. Then Washington, Detroit, Washington, San Antonio, and Dallas. Interesting. Battle of Texas in the set in the western or in the eastern semifinals and Detroit, Washington. Hey, San Antonio and Dallas are both in the West. All right, whatever. It's more central, but hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do with all that junk, all that junk inside your trunk? Spurs versus the Wiz. Who's gonna win it? Spurs in five. Congratulations, Luca. Massive, massive season for him. 32. Oh my goodness, Luca. Calm down, buddy. Just calm down. Calm down. All right. Congratulations to the Spurs are in order. We'll go ahead and finish the season here. Do, do, do. Let's go. Taking forever. Go ahead and take a look at player retirements. Uh, Zach Levine retires at the age of 37. <laughs> Uh, ben Simmons, Andrew Wiggins, Donovan Mitchell, Derek Jones, Pascal Siakam, uh, t -t 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 Grant Reeler. So we're going to lose some people, but they were all just guys that we had kind of signed. Lothar Hasselhoff, Leslie Love all retire. Uh, Jamie Young, assistant coach of the Spurs, retires. Ben Simmons getting his Hall of Fame. Jersey retirements, Ben Simmons, the 76ers retire his jersey. He was there for, oh my goodness, 15 years. Good job. League meetings. Uh, nothing goes through this season. League realignment. Uh, I was going to say the Knicks and the Nets had the same logo for a second. And that's going to be confusing next season. And we'll go ahead and jump into the draft lottery. We have the fourth best odds in the draft. Let's go ahead and see how it plays out for us. Trailblazers stay at 15. And Miami stays at 14. Can't wait to see us drop to like 8. Celtics stays at 13. Not too bad, not too bad. Hawks stay at 12. Perfect. So already by this time, we had dropped three spots. And our night was over. Pacers at 11. Will they stay? They do. 
Bucks have a two and a half percent to move. Uh, they do not. This is their biggest jump so far. Nets at five and a half. They stay at nine. I like that a lot. Nets haven't had a winning record in five seasons. We're at three without a winning record. Uh, Golden State. The Hornets have leapfrogged into the top six. Possible we have moved down. Possible we haven't moved at all. Suns stay at seven. And at number six, are we going to see Charlotte? And we do. All right. The Jazz have a 9.9%. And they do move up. Oklahoma moves to five. Oh my goodness. Utah, could they? are they moving to four? Nope. We dropped from... Well, actually, no, we stayed at four. All right, I don't hate that, actually. Uh, Jazz at three. No, Minnesota. Jazz are picking one, aren't they? I don't hate four. We can make something happen there. We're going to get a really good player. Uh, Jazz go to two. And then that means the Houston Rockets, 13.3%, goes to the Houston Rockets. Sixth time they pick number one in their in their lifetime. That's crazy. Um, you know, I'm a little upset, but I'm not too upset um, that I'm going to break something or flip something. Uh, honestly, one year left for head coaches. Kind of want fire Nick Nurse. Uh, nope. I want this guy. Why do I want this guy? Because uh, he runs a seven seconds, and that's kind of what we run, or usually run. Uh, I'm going to get him up to just over five here and make that offer. Uh, let's go ahead and... We've signed him. CFO, assistant GM, and assistant coach. Who are we getting? This guy. Ronnie Freeman, Corey Hines, Steven Silas, Daniel Spencer, Eldon Stewart, and Jackie Perkinson. Those are our dudes. Uh, and we will go ahead and jump to catch up scouting. So, we didn't have the greatest season. We have a pretty decent draft pick. Unfortunately, it is what it is. So thank you so much for checking out this episode with me of NBA 2K21. I'm hoping for a quick turnaround. Maybe we get somebody solid in this draft uh, point guard who propels us to the next level. Uh, again, thank you so much. I love each and every one of you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.